Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 and the conclusion of this replay between Thorazine and Vortex here on Turtle Rock. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause the game right now. Staff of Sanctuary trying to bring back some of those low hit point units. Three destroyers up in the air. Level 3 Death Knight. Pandirian Brewmaster being resurrected the old fashioned way at the altar as opposed to at the tavern. We have a couple flying machines up in the air. So the flying machines used in order to try to counteract those destroyers. Archmage now coming in. Perhaps is gonna try to do a kill steal. Will he be able to get that kill steal off? I do not think so. No, not able to get that kill steal off. Flying machines up in the air. Perhaps they're, why aren't they trying to focus down some of those units and now trying to uh, perhaps bolt that Death Knight. Bolt on that Death Knight. Death Knight down to 300 hit points. Has a potion of greater healing. Holy light onto that Death Knight. Death Knight now being forced to come back uh, as well. But a couple of those flying machines getting taken down by those destroyers. Death Knight now down to 288 hit points. Another bolt of light almost gets the able to get the Death Knight down. Death Knight down at level 3. So level 2 a Mountain King. Level 3 Archmage and a level 1 Paladin has defeated a level 3 Death Knight and a level 3 Pandirian Brewmaster. Pandirian Brewmaster being resurrected. Perhaps, yeah, Death Knight resurrected. It has to be resurrected at that tavern, unable to use that potion of greater healing. And, and that was a very, very expensive resurrection to resurrect a hero at the tavern at level 3. I think it's like 400 gold. Or 400 or 500 gold. Now we have a couple of those flying machines trying to fight in the air. We do not, I do not see any flak cannon upgrades. I can't, I don't know what the animation is. Now we have a couple Dragonhawk Riders. Dragonhawk Riders do not have that animal war training. Bolt! Death Knight now down to 214. Now forced to use that scroll of, or the potion of greater healing. Now coming back over here, that destroyer, those destroyers are now up in the air and just flying away. Currently just trying to escape flying machines versus destroyers both of them the fight is pretty even unless oh sorry flying machines have the have the upper hand as long as the destroyers do not have mana if the destroyers have mana the flying machines get taken down so quickly it's not even funny as both of them are weak to each other's attack destroyers now trying to take down some of these gigantuan sea turtles gigantuan sea turtles getting taken down relatively quickly and as the Death Knight is now going to get closer and closer to level 4. Now focusing on that Gigantuan Sea Turtle. Dragon Hawks and Griffins now coming into play trying to take down that Death Knight. Death Knight has that Scroll of the, uh, scroll of the Beast perhaps not selling it yet. Perhaps he's going to try to uh, push this through. No, now going to try to take down this natural expansion over here. Uh, go I thought I saw a gold mine being built by Vortex some time ago, but it looks like it was cancelled. Going to take down that Acolyte. Acolyte gets taken down. Level 3 on that Archmage still. Still level 2 on that um, Mountain King. I believe, yes, and level 1 on that Paladin. Now trying to move back up over here. Pandirian Brewmaster sitting at level 3. Death Knight now sitting at level 3. A very, very interesting creeping map. Um, creeping as both players are just trying to uh, harass each other, but somehow the Death Knight is able to continue to creep, even though there's an army, uh, there's a human army just continuing to follow him. Level 4 on Vortex's Death Knight now, as the Scroll of Town Portal now being used. And down they go. We're going to have Thorazane finish the rest of this particular army. Archmage uses the Staff of Sanctuary in order to pull back one of those units. Paladin will get to level 2. The level 2 perhaps getting Divine Shield or Devotion Aura. Looks like it is going to be Divine Shield. Now taking a look. No one has any expansions really set up. Flying Machine still flying around. There are no um, weapon upgrades. A little bit surprised by that as those Flying Machines are really the only thing that can take down those destroyers very, very efficiently. Flying Machine still flying around. Um, what, I wish I could click on them and then tell how many there are. There looks to be about 12 Flying Machines. Archmage with a single Griffin and and Mountain King trying to creep out particularly this red camp. Oh, coming back over here, Pandirian Brewmaster seen at level 3 has Vampiric Aura now. So level 4 on that Death Knight, level 3 on that Pandirian Brewmaster, Potion of Greater Mana. Very nice items for that Pandirian Brewmaster. That Pandirian Brewmaster, if it gets to level 5, is going to render all of those flying, um, flying machines pretty much mute or moot. Uh, anyways, pa D Divine Shield being used on that Paladin. Paladin now trying to heal back up a little bit more. Ogre Magic getting taken down. Rune of Healing used, healing up the rest of these particular units. Archmage trying to pull back away, perhaps trying to give level 3 onto that Mountain King. Mountain King also picks up a, a, a Helm of Valor, a four, plus 4 strength, plus 4 agility, but all that really gives is 100 hit points and 1.2 armor, if I remember my calculations correctly, yeah. 1.2 armor, Troll Berserker now getting taken down as well, and now level 3 on that Mountain King. So level 3 Mountain King, level 3 Archmage, level 2 Pandirian Brewmaster, or level 2 Paladin, versus a level 4 Death Knight and a level 3 Pandirian Brewmaster. Last time I checked, hold on, taking a look at the Pandirian Brewmaster now, Pandirian Brewmaster seen at level 4, also has Unholy Aura, most likely going to sell that item as it is weaker than the Death, Knight on Death Knight's Unholy Aura. Pandurian Brewmaster trying to finish off this particular creep camp. If it gets to level 3 Breath of Fire, 
I believe that's 210, especially against very, very low hit point uh, flying machine. That is just going to be absolutely devastating. A very, very large amount of flying machines. Flying machines sitting at 15 to 17 damage. Flat cannon upgrades most likely already there. Going to try to take down some of these um, Ascidian statues. No. Um, as the, there's a Squirrel Town portal bringing back and down goes a single Dragonhawk Rider. Taking a look at those um, flying units. Do we have a flying unit? Griffin. Griffin Rider does not have that animal war training yet and it does not look like Thorzane wants to get that animal war training. Archmage, Mountain King, and Paladin now moving out once again around the map. A very large amount of flying machines but I think one single breath of fire will take them down if they're unfortunately stacked. Pandurian Brewmaster still sitting at level 4, not quite level 5 yet. Archmage now trying to push in, try to take down some of these ghouls. One ghoul getting taken down and now those acolytes being forced to stop and mining from that gold mine. Now trying to focus on the ziggurat. I'm now focusing down that paladin. Paladin down to what 415 hit points. Gonna have to use a scroll town portal. This is a really really bad place. Staff of Sanctuary used. Paladin gonna be able to holy light. Trying to bolt down. Able to take down a single al an acolyte and now level 4 on that Pandemonium Brewmaster. Level 4 on that Death Knight. No third hero. So no try hero combination from from um sorry from Vortex. We do obviously have Tri-Hero coming in from Thorzane with that Archmage Mountain King Paladin. Paladin really needs to get to level 3. Awfully, awfully close to level 3. What? Um, 7 experience away. Trying to sell some of those, selling some items and now perhaps going to move out once again. If that Archmage can somehow get that Paladin to level 3, level 2 Holy Light will greatly, greatly change that game. And coming into here, we have a lot of Destroyers up in the air. Destroyers have mana. So Destroyers having mana and that Pandarian Brewmaster with level 5. That that's going to be really, really bad. We'll see how this game really plays out. But that Breath of Fire animation hitting so many units at the same time. I do not think there's actually a cap on how much damage the Breath of Fire can actually do as opposed to some of those other what carry-on waves. In, in comes the rest of these Destroyers. Destroyers going to be trying to be pushing into these Peasants. Peasants now trying to run back away. Destroyers up in the air. And now that Death Knight most likely going to get to level 5. A lot of Destroyers. Very, very Destroyer happy. Obsidian statues. Pretty much no mana. Just trying to absorb all the mana from those particular units. Taking a look at Vortex's base, Vortex is sitting at 73 over 80, so it can still get some additional units. Griffin's now trying to pull back away. Griffin's a horrible counter to those destroyers, as destroyers are Im obviously immune to magic. And Pandurian Brewmaster Bolt, um, trying to bolt down that Pandurian Brewmaster. Pandurian Brewmaster sitting on pretty much full mana. Where are those flying machines? Trying to separate the flying machine from the rest of those units. Let's see if, that, if it's really going to work. Flying machine perhaps going to try to focus down some of this. Destroyers and the uh, Death Knight now separating the distance and um, the really those flying machines really need to at some point really engage those destro the destroyers still have plenty of mana though that's really the issue as those flying machines do not want to engage and here comes this fight flying machines versus destroyers a lot of flying machines and um, um, the flying machines uh, wow just taking a look at all that hit point damage um, coming in and while a vortex says gg so even though vortex has the hero advantage I think Thorzane was able to uh, cause Vortex to just try to chase him around the map for so long that those destroyers no longer had any mana. Also, because the Death Knight had that unholy aura, he was actually getting farther and farther away from that Pandirian Brewmaster, and the Pandirian Brewmaster was unable to get that Breath of Fire off. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you guys enjoyed the game, and I hope to see you guys on Battle.net.